Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. We're going to look at creating an interactive map today. So um, we're looking at uh, looking at location, looking at creating um, a, a set of commands through Keynote that will allow a visitor to kind of grab a Keynote and actually find out more about school or um, a local uh, river system or uh, anything to do with geography and so on. So um, I'll go through the process. So basically, if I play this one here, you can see that it's got a little circle down there. When I press the circle, it goes to that actual place, which is our primary office. When I click on the home button there, it goes back to page one. And you can start with a map, get kids to take a picture of map, or you might be able to uh, take a screenshot of a Google um, aerial view of a map. So you don't have to actually take photos, but that's just how we've done it with our kids. And so it's really, really easy to do. So I've got my first uh, page here. And what I'm gonna do is let's just create another little interactive link here. So I'll bring in a circle. Um, don't worry about where you put it yet, then I'll just go up to my paintbrush up here and I'll go to the style and you can see there that it's got fill. So what I'm going to do is go to no fill, but I'm going to put a really thick border of a certain color in it. So let's go with something that stands out. Let's go with the purple and then we'll just really increase the width there just so that you can see it. And then I'll just make it a little bit smaller and I'll put it... I might place it over here where the library is. And so that's basically it in regard to the actual graphic. We want to um, obviously uh, import or create a graphic that people will want to touch and investigate. So you can put some text there if you want. And then it's a simple case of clicking on that circle, going to my interactive links, and then going to the slide they want. So let's just say in this case, it will be slide three. I'll press done. And then I'll just go to slide three and then I'll put in obviously the photo um, that I've actually used for the library, which is just this one here. Now you'll see that it really fits, uh, fills up the screen beautifully when you take your photos in landscape mode, um, which is great. If I go back to slide two, you notice that I've actually got a little interactive button there that goes back to slide one. And because it's got the link there, I can just copy that and actually put that on each of the, um, each of the pages. Now, if you feel that you can't, haven't got that paste option, um, just move your image slightly and then just paste here and then just move it back again. Um, it doesn't like kind of pasting over layers and you've got some adjustments of layers there. So let's see how that looks um, as a whole. Uh, so we'll press play. Um, we go to the blue one there, then we go home, then we go to the purple one and it goes to the library and then we go home. And obviously the kids, when they actually click on that, they can have some text down the side uh, discussing who works there, um, what that building is used for, what's its main purpose and so on. So I think this is a great little activity to get kids creating interactive links um, and interactive maps, sorry, um, to explore the environment and to explore different places. A fantastic way um, or putting a little bit of a spin on a different project or an assignment that might be very traditionally text-based, you might get them to create like an interactive project with quizzes, um, with clicking on links and finding out more about different things. I hope you found that useful. Uh, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.